Good morning. Today is the day I'm supposed to be starting the new video series to talk about Fascinating Womanhood, a book. And I don't know, I just thought I would stop and do a behind the scenes kind of video before I start. The first thing is I, I have to have coffee. Even though I'm gonna have it in the show, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend it's my first cup, it'll be my second or my third. Um, I think starting this whole video series is going to, it has been a lot already. The people who give you advice about um, starting these projects are right. They do take up quite a bit of your time. So if you don't have the 20 hours to even think about it, it's going to be very hard to get started. A um, lot of imperfections. Uh, I have an AC unit blowing. I don't know if you can hear that. I know the audio is lacking. I know that um, I could do with a better studio. I like it though. I love this carbon. I actually picked it up on Facebook Marketplace. So definitely look on there sometimes. You get some really nice things. This is hand carved, I think. And I also, yes, Cafe Du Monde. Cafe Du Monde in uh, Louisiana. Plug in for them. Excellent coffee, excellent everything. So I think I was thinking about why am I doing this and at my age, why would I start such a thing? And honestly, I think uh, <laughs> there are several reasons. One, I'm still a Montessori kid that hasn't changed. I still want to dabble and try different things and see, what, see how that works. Uh, I also think that the monetization program would be nice going into my, my latter years as um, income, a stream of income. And the third reason I think I'm a hippie or, you know, yeah, God spelling all that, let the sun shine in. So one of my <laughs> other follies in life has been to just do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. Not everyone gets to do that, and I know that, so. I'm blessed and highly favored. Fascinating womanhood. I think it'll be good uh, to talk about perceptions versus reality and whether or not we make our own reality inside of relationships. Now the book actually talks about marriage, but I think there is some redeeming value for alternative variations of marriage. The book was written in the 20s um, and updated several times, but the core principles are still there, so we'll get through the book fairly quickly. I'm not trying to make it a page-turning experience for anyone, but just to take away some of the major points and things worth unpacking and exploring more. Um, then I also had a couple of things I wanted to talk about in terms of projects and having so many. <laughs> So this is my therapy, so welcome to my session. We're gonna see if I can't get through some of these projects I've started. I'm, I'm one of those people who enjoys starting something because it's shiny and it does stuff. And then I'm the guilty one who will also find time to get one more project, squeeze in one more piece of technology. So I'm gonna play around with this and see where it leads. I'm gonna to try to apply some of the advice and lessons learned from the other bloggers to see if I can just free fall into this. I know things occur to people, but I'm such a planner. I wonder if I'm going to be free enough of spirit and creativity to just get on here and say something, put it up on YouTube 
and you know get my followers get my numbers up and enjoy the experience but it will be a journey pass or fail it'll be a journey so if you are interested in interesting things i think this is the channel for you if you are looking for a different perspective and variety this is the channel for you if you just want someone to talk to at six in the morning on tuesdays then this is the channel for you and we'll laugh a little bit take some things seriously but um anyway we'll see how this goes oh one more thing um i noticed that some of the bloggers have some of the bloggers have um, gimmicks so what do you think annoying isn't it okay all right we're not going to do that but i just thought i'd check and see what you thought about it my question is what can i glean from it that is worth applying in my life now in terms of relationships um, growing up in my family i saw one model and it worked for my parents. Does that mean it works for every marriage? Probably not. Uh, but I think the book has some value in generating a conversation. So I thought that um, to start with, this would be a great piece. I also like to talk about technology especially technology. Uh, Elon Musk and his behaviors, corporate behaviors, social behaviors, and uh, some of the ideals that we are starting to presume he represents. I think we need to follow that story. I think we should also be following the whole idea that the internet is the wild west um, some concerns there i think for how we manage ourselves and how we manage our culture how we manage our visibility accountability accessibility all of the abilities um, You might be wondering about that rooster crowing. <laughs> well, let me tell you what happened there. I was recording the initial video to talk about, well, it was an experimental video. Can you do it? Will you just jump in the water? So it forced me to basically commit. Long story short, while I'm doing the video, this rooster starts crowing in the background. So I made a joke of it and just went with it. But this is something that happens often because of where I live. So there's a rooster. And I have to tell you the story now. This rooster <clears throat> was across the street from me. And he was in a tree with his hens. It was a tree where the, the, the branches were so heavy that they had, you know, worn down and, and toward the ground so they could easily climb into the tree. It was like a roost. So the owner of the property came and did some cutting. So he was trimming back and, and cutting back on this tree, which essentially removed the roost. Well, what happens next? With that eviction notice, the rooster loses the hens. They're all wild now. So the hens have gone up the street because they found another rooster with a roost, you see. And so the rooster that was is now up and down the road announcing the injustice of it all and crowing, trying to get these hens to come back, these chickens to come back. They haven't come back. They're not coming back. They're already up the road. They got a better deal up the road, man. 
but he's up and down the road crowing like you know to tell everybody he used to be a pimp you know where the, where are the chicks where the, you know so anyway that's the rooster story there's another story that's attached to it sentimental value my mother had a thing about roosters all over the house in the kitchen door stopper something to ring and you wonder about this thing it's a rooster look at it anyway it was apropos and i'm i'm going with it so from now on for tuesday mornings the rooster is the thing and i will find a use for my rooster tinkle bell i'm not sure what yet but i'll think of something okay don't worry you'll see it again <laughs> I'm gonna do my best with this channel. I have committed to Tuesdays, Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. to have a broadcast out and ready for you and your cup of coffee. Um, so, all right, so wardrobe needs some some fixer, fixing up in, some fixer upper. I have to get uh, the staff to handle that. Don't worry, we'll be straight by. Tuesday at 6. See you then. Bye-bye.